No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say so. Look, I, I think probably just the preparations just just bigger. Um, you know, look, I think everybody saw the wicket didn't turn on on day one. Uh, you know, look in Sri Lanka when, when we bowled in in uh, Bangladesh, you know, the wicket was turning. So it's just different conditions, and our boys haven't been exposed to it at all. So it's just mainly giving them an idea on, on what to do, uh, and making sure we learn. If you know, look, if we have to bowl first on in the second test to uh to be not better prepared but just you know if we can sort of react a little bit quicker and and try and put a little bit more pressure on the the opposing team uh look uh, i think the main thing is just trying to give the the players as much knowledge as as we can but also making sure that they're learning uh and growing we don't want to just keep force feeding them information and then when they're put in the middle uh they don't know what to do it's you know look it's uh bally's first time captaining and, and captaining against two of the best uh i guess test playing nations in, in their own home country if i can spit that out that uh you know so it's incredibly challenging uh you know it's not just a simple matter of putting the ball in the right spot you've got to have right fields you've got to be able to know when to take advantage of the momentum and, and when to sort of to wind back and uh, look i think the, the main message that we're trying to get across is we're trying to be proactive as best we can and you know that's challenging when you're bowling first on day one when the wicket's not moving the ball's not moving off the straight uh you know the bowling needs to be uh more consistent which is obviously a challenge coming from uh you know north county at uh, minus two minus three degrees <laughs> no no I would, definitely I would not. Up their efforts yeah yeah no definitely not look we, we bowl too many short balls and and we've spoken about that as a group you know that we're looking to put pressure on them on the front foot and, and that's no secret you know look they they were able to put i think it's about 75 percent of their deliveries getting us to play up the front foot admittedly the wicket was turning more day two and day three but you know, look if you if you're not making them play off the front foot, it's it's really challenging. The wicket's quite slow, and you know they, they didn't have to sweep, they didn't have to use their feet. There were just too many loose balls. So we, we as a group have addressed that. Doesn't matter how much you address it, it's, it still matters when that the pressure's on and, and how they overcome that. And uh, look, hopefully, you know the boys can put that behind them and, and look forward to the next test. Yeah, look, he's been doing a lot of work behind the scenes. He, he had a few days off. He had a bit of a you know as spinners do, we sometimes get a cut on our fingers. He had a few days off. Look, he'll, he'll be as ready as he ever will be. You know, he's uh, bowled a lot of balls over the past three or four weeks. He got the opportunity to play a little bit of international cricket in T20s and one days. And our main goal was for him to to come over here and, and if ready, uh, play a test uh, at the end of the series. You know, look, it's, uh, we definitely need the ball spinning away. And you know, look, George did an okay job, no doubt. But we, we definitely need to to find a way to make more inroads as they got a lot of right-handers. And it's, and it's quite challenging for a, a spinner like uh, McBrien, who probably doesn't get as much bounce as Mendes. So, you know, we need to find a way to, to create opportunities and, and Humph is some, someone we're definitely looking at leading into the next test. Yeah, look, it's, I'll give you an example. Ben White played his first Red Bull game and test against Bangladesh, you know, and, and these guys who play for Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, they played hundreds of first class games. They bowled millions of deliveries. Um, you know, look, and Ben White has come into our system and, We've been drumming into him in white ball cricket. We need you to hit like a, a four and a half to five meter length, bowl quite fast. And then when he gets a red ball cricket, if he hit that length and bowl quite fast, as you probably saw in the first innings against Bangladesh, uh, he get got picked off quite easily. So for them, for him to then have to change his length and pace uh, during a test or mid test or anything like that is incredibly challenging. So for us, it's for my job mainly is just to be able to provide a platform for him so that he can feel most comfortable with the ball that he's trying to trying to bowl. And, um, you know, for our boys, the main thing we're looking for is just consistency wherever they're bowling the ball. If it's going to be that five-metre length, understand that you're probably not going to create enough opportunities. But we've got to be okay with getting hit off the front foot a little bit more. Uh, and that takes a little bit of courage for our guys because they're not used to it because we're drummed into getting hit off the back foot more and more in one day in T20 cricket. Uh, so, look, it's it's unfortunate we're only playing two tests. It would have been nice to, to play probably three or four more at the end of the year and, and see the the growth because we're going straight from these two tests into white ball cricket again. So it's it's not just a matter of just a different coloured ball. It's a, it's a different mindset, a different fielding, field, field set, uh, just a lot of different things. And um, our boys are doing well, but it is challenging, yeah. Uh, in, incredibly difficult. And, and the main thing that I keep trying to encourage the guys is, we, look, we've just got to um, just outlast them. Uh, and that's really hard. We have to be more patient than them. We have to be more disciplined. We have to land the ball in the right area as much as we can. And and look, we our guys haven't been exposed to it. So our skill set's probably a little bit lower than Sri Lanka's based on, you know, Jay Saria. I, I don't think he would miss a ball put in the right area out of 10. You know, whereas someone like, you know, Whitey or George or, or Scra, you know, they're going to be probably five out of 10, six out of 10. And those other three or four balls are going for boundaries. Um, you know, so a lot of things that then builds up, they don't need to do much. The pressure's never really on them. 
What I will say is, though, that if, if we get the opportunity to, to bat first and put a good score on the board, I, I back our spinners to create a lot of problems. And, and I would be interested to see how, you know, their, their batters play against us. But bowling first in these conditions is, is honestly the, the hardest thing that you can ever do as a spinner. And the wicket was incredibly flat. Um, you know, so our boys, they, they did well. It's just about then just trying to hang in, you know, and also for, for us, as I said before, coming from North County where it's very cold, you know, we, we have been here now six or seven weeks. So, you know, we should be pretty acclimatised, but it does get hot out there. And, you know, Sri Lanka, they just, it, these, when you're playing the subcontinent, it just sucks, you out, sucks it out of here. You need to be hanging in as long as you can and just outlasting. And, and that's probably the most challenging thing. Nah, just there's a fresh wicket, two two wickets over. Uh, it'll it'll probably be. It looks pretty similar at the moment. There's a bit of rain today. Look, you know, look, I, I don't know what what's going to happen over the next couple of days, but I'd be very surprised if it's anything really different than the than the first test. Nah, look, that that's almost it. It's just pretty simple. You know, like if you're putting ten out of ten balls in the right spot and, and one hits a seam and one doesn't, it becomes very challenging to face. Uh, when you're spinning the ball away. Look, most teams these days have got to have someone that spins it away, you know, whether it's leg spin, you know, or left arm finger spin. Um, you know, look, Shakib and those boys, they, they generally try and bowl a bit more undercut than uh, Jay Saria. But, you know, over here, you don't need to do anything fancy. It's just very boring work. But what, the, what it is, you, yeah, you're able to create that perceived pressure with the fields, you know, the runs, the, the heat, everything just gets on top of you. And, and as soon as, as a batting group, if you start to get on top of them as a bowling group, they then move the field, you know, they change things. You know, you've seen Lorcan with the way that he's combated against them. You know, when they start sweeping, they put guys out to sweep straight away. They don't change the way they bowl. They just keep doing the same thing and they make you keep changing. And, and that's the big difference. And, you know, for our guys, as I keep saying, we, we've come from North County. Uh, we bat on mats a little bit to, to create a little bit more spin, but it, nothing can replicate what we're doing at the moment. And our guys are improving every game and, and learning more, you know, watching Harry bat and, you know, Lorcan's been outstanding. It's just, a, it's just been exposed to it more and more and more. And, you know, even playing Red Bull cricket in Ireland will be fantastic. Still different wickets, I guess, you know, like they can be a little bit wet and slow and, you know, a bit sticky, but, uh, you know, I, got, I have no doubt that being exposed to these conditions will not only help our spinners, but help our batters against spin moving forward. Yeah, look, I think probably the most important thing that, that we always try to talk about is just being a little bit proactive against the spin. You know, whenever um, touring spinners come to the subcontinent, we know that we're going to be under pressure. They're, they're going to look to put us under pressure. They're going to score against our good ball. In when we play, when we batted the other day, we, we probably didn't put enough pressure on their good ball. Uh, and they were able to probably bowl that little bit fuller than what you probably normally would. Jay Saria, you know, there were some balls that were almost half volleys and we, we weren't being proactive. And that comes from, you know, losing a couple quick wickets and, and feeling that pressure, you know, starting to doubt whether your game is good enough. You know, and that that happens naturally. That's just, you know, being exposed to it and, and just not having the trust in your game. And, and I think the main thing, look, we, we always hear about trusting your, your defence and, and being proactive that way. But I, I think, you know, look, being a spinner myself, I always struggled against the the batter who was looking to score every ball, whether it's a single, a four, a sweep, use their feet. You know, if it's not spinning, it's a lot easier to play. But if it is spinning, you've got to find a way to, to combat that that spinning ball. Uh, Darren Lehman used to speak a lot about, you know, hitting into the spin. So when the ball's spinning away, you're hitting to the leg side. When the ball's spinning in, you're hitting to the offside, you know. So, look, just those little things. And, and look, the, the batters have been working on little bits and pieces over this last little bit, you know. Being able to implement them in a game is going to be another thing. And But I fully expect they're going to try something different to help them get on top of the bowling. Uh, they're two world-class bowlers. So we've got to respect them, but we've also got to find a way to put them under pressure. Yeah, yeah. Look, it's, it's an interesting thing because we talk about, you know, you know, one thing I always speak about is uh, aggressive fields with defensive bowling or defensive bowling with aggressive fields. And we've sort of been sort of caught in two minds with that. You know, Bangladesh, the fourth innings, we had 140 runs on the board. We didn't need to have everybody around the bat because the wicket was doing enough. So we could have had one guy, you know, maybe two, and then have every, like four or five guys out and bowl the, bowl the ball into the rough and, and wait for the batter to, to make a mistake. You know, whereas when it's a really good wicket, like it is at the moment, we need to find a way to shut the field down on one side, uh, you know, and the game's evolved so much that, you know, it looks coming around the wicket as a right-hander to, into middle and leg stump and having fielders in positions, not just having three or four guys out, having mid on halfway or three quarters, uh, having a sweeper just behind square in a catching position. So just being a little bit proactive and a little bit inventive with the field instead of just thinking, okay, look, I've got to set a one-day field. Uh, and I'm a big one 
there's no point in me telling uh, Bally or Lorcan what they need to do with fields. I'd rather them learn learn what they need to do on their own and then speak to me at the end of the session or end of the you know day or whatever it needs to be because look Bally's captain season proved a great deal from the, the first innings and we're talking every day about it and he doesn't need me or, or the coach or anybody else like that to, to keep confusing him and, and making it tougher for him yeah look I only I only saw the squad this morning uh look I don't have any say in it or anything like that look, I, I'm, I'm guessing that probably conditions are going to play a part in Chelmsford a three three game series and I think the Wolves, from from what I've heard along the pipeline, that they're just trying to to see different players. You know, look, Ben, he's really improved, and his red ball game has improved a lot. And he and I think he's going to play a, a large role in white ball cricket moving forward. Um, you know, look, he's he's still so raw. You know, he's he's only very young. Um, you know, look, and I think it's just an opportunity for other guys to play. And he's been out, and it's probably not the worst thing for him to have a tiny bit of a break. And you know, look, I, I'm not not hugely involved in Chelmsford, but I don't expect spin to play a huge role. And, and there's a lot of left handers of Bangladesh. So I think Skrar and, and Harry will, will play most of the role there. That's, that's, that's a fair while ago now. Uh, look, I, <laughs> the main thing I remember about that is that we're under the pump. Uh, Ireland were uh, destroying us when they batted. Uh, we didn't get many runs. Uh, and I just remember the crowd was going wild at the start when the, the boys were taking us down. Um, I, I came on, I took a couple of wickets and I think hopes he took five for, and it, yeah. it happened very quickly after that. But we are in a state of uh, panic there for a little bit, thinking the boys were uh, going to get ahead. Um, a lot of fun. I, I do remember it being a lot of fun. And, you know, it was a place that I was looking forward to coming back to, for sure. I would be very surprised. I'm not going to say no, but I'd be very surprised because Harry didn't even really bowl. And, and look, I, I really like Harry's bowling. He gets a lot of bounce. Look, it's not not worth – sorry, it's not worth it. I wouldn't say that he's not going to bowl, but – Look, I think Sterlow's game is going to be batting and, and fielding. Uh, you know, look, I don't know if he's going to be that enthusiastic to, to bowl. He's he's very clever and he, and he could do a job. Um, you know, look, hopefully he's not. we're not in a position that we need him to bowl, if that makes sense as well.